Street Joker, the Fighting Lazarus, and Queer as Fuck, and they also run uh, this very show, which is also Body Positive and Queer as Fuck. Can we get into it? You had it so quiet for that moment. <laughs> There's the shaker. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Here we go. It was someone applauding vigorously. Yes. Oh, vigorously. Yes, yeah. of course. It was, that one kills every time. That oh, gender identity. Every, everyone gets it. It's great. I you should be just treating like anybody else. But hopefully better than women. <laughs> Pronouns are super important to uh, queers like us because when you use our pronouns for trans men, trans women, not binary people, bros, uh, it's important. <laughs> because when you use our pronouns, that means you see us the way we see ourselves, which is so reaffirming and so great. But I have noticed almost nobody asked me for my pronouns. But almost every single person I've met has asked me for the pronouns of my cats. <laughs> Sometimes before they even touch them, they're like, oh, sorry, did you play he, she? And it's just... <laughs> <laughs> you know, the fact that you can't tell is progress. <laughs> but the fact that you ask me, so you still have a ways to go. <laughs> I'm really happy to be summertime. Y'all happy for summer? Is that a line that you've you've actually said to someone, like, while they're looking at your cats? Um... I, I've said not as much of that, uh -huh. but pretty much been like, it doesn't matter. And yeah. like, try to see how they kind of trip up on that. Yeah. Uh, and then they usually get like kind of confused and like kind of weirded out. But then they also sometimes be like, oh, it's just that male cats are cuddlier. And I was like, God damn it. What the okay. fuck? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like they try to turn it around. And I was like, all right. So it's only happening right now. I am an architecture boat tour guy. I'm surprised about the stuff that's actually on this one. all about the city of Chicago, our history, the architecture. Uh, what do you mean? The world don't find uh, <laughs> Turns out it's all of them. I've been playing around the structure of my set, so this is like a lot of the same material, but I usually set it up a little differently. Yeah. I mean, all of the boat tour guide stuff is about the same. I'm also surprised by how much I don't hate it. Yeah. Because usually whenever I watch myself, I do hate everything and I'm critiquing myself very, very, very critically. Mm -hmm. But, wow, this might be the first time I've actually watched myself do stand up and feel okay about it. Ooh. This might be it. I think therapists call that a breakthrough. Wow. Here we go. I'm glad this is captured on the podcast. Wow. Finally, an epiphany. <laughs> Well, this set flowed really well because I've seen you do this bit a, quite a few times. Yeah. And this, like from eight, from the beginning to the end, you had this this flowed really well. Thank so you. you controlled the pauses, kind of like how he does. You know, like he just he captures that pause. Yeah. And this you is, got it. Yeah, it's been it's been weird for me. Um, <laughs> I guess it was like this was literally this show was right after. I was running on two hours of sleep, Ooh. and I had like one of some of the worst news of my life that just happened. Yeah. 
and I didn't even know what I was going to do for the show. That it was like, I was going to pass up my spot. I was just like, I really don't want to go on tonight. Oh, wow. But you saw Jen Snyder when she yeah. was in town? That uh, it was something that she told me when she was around, that she was just like, honestly, when I'm so depressed and I can't get out of bed and I don't know what else to do, that it's like, at least if I can make somebody else laugh, I can at least take a little pleasure out of that. Yeah. And I think that was like about it. <laughs> that was the only thing I can think of, that it was like, you know what, we have a great audience, like, let's try, like... I can at least feel okay knowing that it's like I have some value if I can be able to at least make other people laugh. And yeah. yeah, that's what kept me going that night. And I'm genuinely surprised how good this is looking, considering. Well, it sounds like you weren't overthinking it at all. Like, you, you achieved... Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, no, it actually happened. I'm really surprised. I think it's kind of nice, too, that it was just, like, literally anything else that could take my mind off of what I just found out was, like, I'll take it. Anything. Let's do it. Yeah. It was pretty cute, but this felt like a teaching moment for me, so uh, I told her, I was like, hey, listen, you know what? You know what? That's what it is. There's not a hint of nervousness on you at all. Yeah, I think I. it was really the point of uh, giving up. I genuinely was so done with everything that I just found out, and I feel like a lot of my kind of world was shattered. <laughs> so it's just kind of like if the one thing I have control over is at least myself on stage and what I'm saying, I guess it felt a little empowering. Jeez. And she said, okay. And then her parents tipped me twenty dollars. <laughs> yeah, it was the nicest way anyone has ever said thank you for making sure our daughter doesn't turn out like you. <laughs> I also didn't hate my haircut, so that was also nice. <laughs> what another pleasant surprise! Yeah, it's <sighs> it'll start auto playing, so I'll kill it there. Okay. But yeah, wow, that's yeah. that sounds like uh like every. Or not every there's a there's a cliche in kung fu action movies right where you um you know the you're off balance you know you're fighting but you're overthinking it you know you must yeah. achieve no mind and you know the buddhist master is standing over someone and you know hitting them with a shoe or whatever it is and they never yeah. quite get it and then right at the final battle it's like oh they just shut down finally letting go yeah 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 like that's what it seems like like you you have a kung fu <laughs> fighting movie moment i can <laughs> i think that may have been it because honestly it was something i talked about with my therapist because it's like i usually get so much anxiety on a night that i'd have a show especially like when i was freelance because then i would literally spend my whole day being like oh i need to write a new tag for this or while i'm doing this and that or like i mean i had like the whole day so yeah. i'd be working on other projects but i'd be like oh i knew i'm doing like you know 15 tonight so what other pieces am i going to put in here mm -hmm. so it's been weird with like a new full-time job that mm -hmm. suddenly it's like oh i actually have to work eight hours and then i usually have two hours before a show and then i'm mm -hmm. like okay well what the fuck am I gonna do and I usually like quickly write out something and I'm like well this better be good enough because this is all the time I have whereas I guess in this situation uh talking to my therapist I was just kind of like you know there's so much anxiety that I give myself around performing because I'm so scared of letting down the other comedians letting down the people that booked me letting down myself and feeling like I don't want to do comedy anymore to an extent it's actually been easier to just do powerpoints which yeah. I've been enjoying but it's just been like nice that it's like oh if somebody heckles me then I don't have to worry about how to shut that down or if certain material's not working like they don't like queer material then I don't have to find like an out like it's actually mm -hmm. been kind of freeing to have the powerpoint of just being like all right if you don't like it that's all i prepared so this is just how it's yeah. gonna be and you're gonna have to get it across whereas usually doing stand-up is just kind of like you have to be so ready to turn on a dime mm -hmm. uh and i feel like i may have put like unnecessary pressure on myself with that just because so many comics i respect are so good at just like switching like that or they give themselves those outs yeah um so yeah it's uh actually very interesting to see myself letting go of that and not letting that anxiety kind of take me over it's been interesting. Yeah. Wow. Jeez. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's, I had no, that's right. I didn't quite put that together until now. Like that happened and then you're like, oh shit. Oh yeah. Yeah. To a point that it's been like, I mean, uh, 
even back before when I was still freelance and people would book me for a show and then I would ch- even ask like last minute I would get so nervous to be like can I just do a PowerPoint I'll literally bring yeah. a projector I'll bring everything <laughs> that needs to happen but can I just do this instead and they'll yeah. be like uh sure and I'm just like I always forget that I'm like oh maybe they book me because they think I'm funny like maybe they think I can do this it does say comedian but I'm like yeah <laughs> yeah right on the on your on your car on your profile on your bio it says comedian but maybe they think i'm funny yeah (laughs) i try to throw that term around a little loosely so yeah all right